as a sort of forewarning to this album's reaction, uh, my opinions after have uh, flip-flopped back and forth quite a lot. So there will be me interjecting afterwards, overdubbed a lot, um, as you'll probably see why later on. It's been so long since a Barchel upload. Yes, it has been, and that's been for a few reasons. The first one is, one, school has been taking up a lot of my life right now, and I haven't really had time uh, to be listening to new music on camera, uh, since this takes a lot of effort and work to get to the quality that I expect and want for my content. Um, another thing, I have been working on my own project as an artist, um, and that album is actually finished now, and I'm just waiting to get it released, which is cool. Um, I will leave the description. What? Uh, sorry, I'll leave the link to it in the description when I, my album is actually out. Um, I've also got a new microphone, as you can see, which I've been borrowing from my place of education, and that is a Rode NT3. So uh, things should sound a little bit better now. And I'm recording into an audio uh, editing program rather than just through OBS. So um, I should be able to do some better processing on my. Uh, vocals. So I should be able to do some better processing on my vocals and also not impact the music when I'm processing my vocals. So today I'm going to be listening to the 2022 album from Soul Glow, Diaspora Problems. I've heard some pretty good things about this. Um, and yeah, it was recorded this year, released this year. Um, it's a hardcore punk band from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I haven't listened to any of it yet, but I've just heard some really good things about it. So let's have a listen to the first track, Gold Chain Punk in... Uh, and then in brackets, who gone beat my ass? Let's have a listen. Cool guitar riffs. Whoa. So cool, some cool vocals. So aggressive and powerful. Whoa. Oh, that chugging guitar is cool. Is this classified as like punk rap? That's kind of metal here. This half time sort of breakdown section. Yeah. This reminds me of Backwash. Jeez, the amount of distortion he's putting into his ah! kind of vocals. Jeez, the just density of lyrics here. It's incredible. Oh, I like that. That kind of da, 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 stepwise motion. There's so much energy and power in the song. Whoa. Wow, that crescendo kind of like. It's like a mixture of a decrescendo and the crescendo there. Wow. Wow, that scream. Whoa, it's still going. Back into that metal half time section. Wow! The amount of passion in his vocals! Whoa! Kind of speechless here! Wow! Wow! Okay, that song is great! I... I... Give me one second. That is 100% a green plastic cactus, because that was incredible. I love that so much. So much passion, so much anger, so much adrenaline in that vocal performance and in the rest of the song. Holy moly. That's definitely what I'm going to come back to. All right. The next song is Coming Correct is Cheaper. Let's have a listen. Ooh. Got that four, uh, 808 there. Whoa, a bit of rhythmic displacement there. I try to listen the way I try to be listened to, I want to be listened to. 
That's an interesting lyric there. So this is just like not being heard in the world? It's kind of recording. The... Wow. There's like samples of like TV shows it looks like, talking about America. The vocals are so extreme here, I love it. Wow, this is great. Whoa, I had a bit of rhythmic displacement there again. So much strength there and power. Whoa! Interesting. Those are some really poignant lyrics there. My parents were contorted to build a future where their children get extorted, and of course, we can't bear them to tell them their efforts were consumed in fire. Wow! Wow! That's... that's good! That's a cool solo! Oh my god! Wow! Oh, what a cool way to end it too! Oh, I love that! Yeah, okay, um... Green Plastic Cactus, that was great! There was a lot of poignant lyrics there about society and society. I know I sound like a joker meme now, but um, there's a lot of poignant lyrics about people like the older generation building a society where, as, is, as the quote here, my parents were contorted to build a future where their children get extorted. It's exactly, it's quite a poignant lyric there and quite a true lyric there. Um, it's difficult to make out what the vocalist is saying at times, but I think that um, that kind of adds to the desperation and incredible harsh and destructive nature of this album let's have a go next song thumb sucker <laughs> this definitely reminds me of old english puns right now the ly lyrical density wow the drumming is incredible. I love the rhythms of this album. It's very rhythmic. Ooh. I like that drawn out guitar for the... Bring the tempo back up. There's so much in this. Wow. Oh, cool. That was, that was great. I don't think there's going to be anything other than green plastic, plastic practices in this album. That is great. Um, that song was more touching on kind of like the depression, anxiety, um, addiction. It's a very, I guess, dark lyrical song, but it's also a very dark lyrical album so far. So I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Sorry that I'm not commenting much on this. It's it's difficult to comment on this because there's just so much happening at once and it's great. Damn. All right, let's go to the next song. Jump or Get Jumped by the Future. That sounds like it's probably going to be building um, upon uh, Coming Correct is Cheaper. Oh, no, sorry. Now it's fucked up if true. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Let's have a listen to this. Seems like it's going to be good. So let's have a listen. More of that metal influence there. Wow! Oh, that's cool! I really like this back and forth here. It's like a conversation, you know, back between these two incredibly angry, protesting people. And I don't want to be my enemy, I don't want to be my enemy. I certainly don't mean to be alienating. It seems like a critique of society and government and politics. I really like this so far. Oh, that's a cool riff. Oh, go back into a new section. 
Yeah. They really like the half time or like weird time modulation sessions. It's going all over the place and I love it. One thing I want to comment is the production of this album is great so far. It's so crisp. Wow! Whoa! That's a metal kind of growl there. Oh, slowing down here. Whoa, ambient, it's all around that. It's all around, the reverb coating everything. Oh, that feedback. Oh, you hear that electronic, like, distortion buzzing noises. This is great. That's probably my favorite so far. Oh, that cool. I love how it ends as well. That's amazing. Definitely gets a plastic cactus from me. Um, everything about that seems so just completely wretched and powerless and pushing forth to kind of get that power back, you know, kind of rage against the machiney. Um, that last verse kind of confirmed my suspicions that this is about like um, America's aggression and like we want weapons set to kill. Like the plight of civilians uh, who are killed every day um, in America with their lax gun laws. Um, and, but also talking about, but there's, uh, but for others of us, still, there's no more waiting for the will to come down from Capitol Hill. Like, the government's not doing anything to fix these problems. Overall, that's probably my favorite so far. Next, we're going to go to what I thought was before, jump or get jumped by the future. So let's have a listen. Already I'm liking this. Whoa! I like that! I love the rhythms in this album. It's such a cool pulse. Oh my gosh. The complexity. It's so tangible. Yeah, I definitely like this already. Oh, it's touching on like the amount of like people who uh, died too early. Oh wow. Wow! Wow! There's so much passion in his voice! Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Is this like a fear of dying or like not or like being easily replaced after dying? Oh wow! There's no guarantee of things that happen to in the future. Everything is either planned out or completely set to the elements and Oh wow! It feels like I'm getting punched repeatedly, but like in a good way. Every day we run from ourselves and run from time. That's such a good lyric. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I really like that. Yep, that's definitely a plastic cactus for me, a green cactus. That's great. That ending reminded me of the end of uh, Starfuckers Inc. by Nine Inch Nails. Um, this is a very, very good album. I can see why people like it so much. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh, this is like a worry about the future or not being there in the future and like talking about death and people who died too early. That's great. I love that song so much. Uh, next song is Dripponomics. And I think that's talking about like the drip down economy, which is a stupid idea. Um, but I guess this is probably going to be a critique of the right wing and capitalism, which I'm definitely all for. So let's hear the next song, Dripponomics. Do you feel me? They want to persecute me because I get money responsibly, ethically. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is like a mixture between like death grips and black dresses. I can, yeah, I was right about this. 
Oh, this is great. Already, I can tell that I love this. This is probably... I know I've said this a lot, but this is probably my favorite. If it continues off being like this. This is like a... Like a critique of pipe culture and like freaking flex culture. Ah, uh, yeah, this is cool. I like this a lot. Yep, there we go. That Reaganomics drip to epi- dripping down economics. Yep. Deliver, deliver food we spit and can't even cook for they care. Damn. That's all about like the rich people not being able to care for their own family because they just get someone else to do it for you. Oh, that's a cool feature. I really love this beat, sorry. I'm really getting into this. Yep. This is definitely the critique that I thought it was. This is great. Cool, eat the rich sort of anthem. I like that. It's like a gr- distorted. I think it's a synth. I don't know, but it's it's really getting into my skull in a good way. That's my favorite so far. Oh, yeah, that one was great. I love that. Great critique, great writing, great flow, great beat, well produced. What else can I say? That was great. Next song, Five Years and My Family. synth wavy kind of feel already very open whoa that was a switch up wow there's a lot of things being touched on here and like upbringing and like i guess it's kind of political as well whoa oh geez uh parents, his parents are fighting Wow! This is a very personal song here. Wow! My style is no way for them to know I wasn't safe. Oh wow! She said you could have saved all your money, all that you spent in therapy you'd still have if you just came to me. So that's like abusive family relations? Controlling parents? Oh that's a chorus. Da 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 da. Kind of gives you like a harmonic minor sort of feel. Yep, that was great. Green Plastic plastic Cactus. This is one of the best albums this year. I would later regret saying that, but let's go to the rest of this. I really, really, really like this. All right, let's go to the next song. The Thangs I Carry with a feature from Bearcat. Let's go. Ooh. I like that hi hat. Oh, the ride, sorry. Ooh, that speed there, the drums. This feels like looking directly at the sun, you know? This is such a cool fusion. Such a cool fusion genre. That's a cool sample there. This is great. I'm sorry, this is great. I love those long screen notes. Such a searing album. I, 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 I'm struggling to find things to say just because this is so good. And I, I'm so absorbed by the music here. Oh wow, the rhythms here. There's a, I see that as a common theme throughout this album. The, the really cool syncopation and Rhythm, rhythmic contrast between the voice and the drums and the guitars. It works so well together. I subpoena people that I've heard to then comfort me. They, to then comfort me. Why should they come? Wow, there's a lot of eloquence in the, in the words here. You can hear the, the, the intense vocabulary that the singer here has in his writing. Wow. Yep, yep, definitely. I don't even need to hear the freaking end of the last drone of this song. That's great. Plastic Cactus, once again. Great song, great writing. 
amazing rhythms. I really love the rhythms of this album. It's it's so pounding and pushed and beating. It's 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 relentless and it's it's relentless, it's aggressive, it's searing. I don't know what other descriptives to add here because this is just it's incredible. I really like this so far. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next song. Um we are more than halfway through the album now. Um and let's have a quick look at We We Wants Revenge. Uh let's go. And I advise you, if you are a uh, hardcore Soul Glow fan, this will be time for you to uh, look away because I did not last like the last leg of this album for a few reasons. I understand that there are some nuances to these discussions to be had, um, but they just kind of rub me the wrong way. I also understand that there is a hypocrisy of uh, white liberals in America basically acting on behalf of uh, people of colour in the States, and I also understand the hypocrisy of white liberals who participate in the capitalist society uh, having cultural erasure, and I also understand the issues of having people speak for you uh, rather than having your own voice, um, as I am a, a trans woman, so I also understand that, I guess, in a different sort of way compared to a person of colour having white people speak for them, or in this case, white liberals. But, all that being said, I am of the left wing, you can disagree with me, um, this isn't what this is about. I'm just going to say that that's going to impact my view of this leg of the album. Now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let's listen to some good music. This is back to that sort of old English punk sort of feel. Okay, so I've done some research into this song, and I can see that it is sort of a critique of how the right was really bad, but choosing to vote in the left was like choosing one of two, like the lesser of two evils. So like, it's still not an ideal situation in America. Um, I'm going to give this song a 50-50. The Tom, what do you think about that dumbass video, bro? Confusing and confused. Though the, the, the tonality of the song, uh, sorry, of the like instrumentation fits well into the album, I feel like the message, it's difficult to gauge specifically what the song is trying to say because it could be taken in like a sarcastic point of view, but then later on it talks about like, was I supposed to believe in the country that killed Dr. King? So that's talking about Martin Luther King, I'm assuming. Not my favorite. Took me a while to get it. Still don't think I get it all the way. Now let's listen to the song, John Jay. So this is obviously about um, addiction and mental health, I see. Northwest, Northeast Rednecks with bats fight with police back up around the corner, marching down Gerard, uh, knowing the precinct's gonna escort them. Uh, it's like talking about the freaking like white privilege and all that shit. I like this breakdown. That's a good one. Eyes open again, and I'm on 15, seeing 20 police run towards this protected panel. Oh yeah, back to what I was talking about earlier with the capitalism one. In the backward system of capitalism, I fetch a low house price. So it's talking about systematic discrimination. Oh, I like this breakdown. I really like these kind of like samples of talking that artists do. I think Lingrid noted it a lot. I like it. Do all that. A lot of this seems like a critique of both uh, the right and the left and kind of going for more and anarchist sort of um kind of voice and like a a more literal fuck the system of like both the right and the left suck let's just burn down everything all right next song god bless y'all real good oh i like the sparse instrumentation here 
This seems a little bit petty. I do like the implementation here though. Yeah, it just seems like I'm very angry at you. You don't talk to me anymore. And look at all the times that we had together, but now you've left me. I don't know, it just seems a bit. Seems quite petty. Yeah, but I guess back then was just bullshit. Yeah, no. Sorry. 50 50 on that one. What I could take it or leave it. Video, it just seems. I mean, yeah, the production was phenomenal. But. Yeah, this last leg of the track is not suiting me. I've gone and changed my scores for We Wants Revenge, John J, God Bless Y'all, Real Good. Those are all 50-50s for me now. I'm not, I'm not fan. I'm not a fan. It just seems, this last leg of the album seems quite petty and, and contradictory. Yeah, no, I definitely preferred up to song eight here. Let's listen to the spiritual level of gang shit. Um, this could go and either bring this back or... I might just dislike this. I know this is probably not going to be a popular take here, but didn't like this last end of the album. Let's have a look at this. Seven Nation Army type baseline. I've prepared myself for anyone in my life to leave and focus much too much on exit strategies for me. Didn't have it and I never expected to get Okay, I like this part. Take a shot when you play the black player T. This has got a nice flow to it. in they sock, empty vials, milli rock all over that black top. Where they quick to shoot their neighbor before they shoot at the cops. Always spin around the clock, never stop. Okay, that's some pretty poignant lyrics there. Are they were they quick to shoot the neighbor before they shoot at the cops? So sort of like a so if I lose my roof, attacking each other rather than fighting the actual main, I guess, villain in this context. Oh wow! Most of y'all Bruce Wayne's looking, the, looking Ku Klux. Jeez. I really like the drumming in this album. I really like the horns in this song. I really like these horn harmonies. That's a good fade out. Green pla plastic cactus. So, that was Diaspora Problems. That was a pretty good album, in my opinion. I liked most of it, to be completely frank. Um, I think We Once Revenge, John Jay, and God Bless Y'all Real Good were a little bits of a letdown for me, um, where the messaging uh, was either confused or didn't completely align with my views. Um, but yeah, I, I like this album. Um, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 78 out of 100 on my first listen score. Upon uh, further thinking i'm actually going to give this a 71 i feel like some of those points that i made towards the end uh kind of took away from the album in my opinion but without those i would have still given it a 78 so yeah pretty good albums i mean i still 71 is still a great score so yeah i think it was pretty good it's not something that i often listen to and as i said um some of it i did not completely agree with uh since i'm quite a, a left wing individual so some of these uh fuck the liberalist kind of things not, you know, the best thing for me. Um, I know that they're talking from a place of anarchy. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good album. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.